Hello Felters! In this video today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this modern grey garland which is great and really adaptable for any room in the house. A friend of mine gave me some of these wools, she wasn't sure what to do with them. They're sort of tops or roving type wools and over the next few weeks we're going to have a bit of fun making some different things with them. But today I've chosen this one which is a grey, brown and white and I thought it would go really nicely in my work studio. So first off I tried to make a coaster which is lovely but it took ages to felt. Um, it works, the teacup stands on it and I'm going to use it and keep it but it would take a while to do a pack of six. So instead I did some of these balls and I thought that's great, we can make a really modern garland with them and they'd look really really good. So first off, take the same length of wool each time you start a new ball. That way you will get the same size ball. So roll it up really, really, really tight. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know it's really important when you start off to roll tight. And then just twist it round a bit and tuck it in. And hold on to it when you get to this stage and then start needle felting it and go all over the ball. And then you're just securing it in loosely at the moment so that you can actually let go of it and it won't all ping undone. So go all over it not needle felting it tightly, just sort of getting it all in there. And you'll notice when you've done it, it's at least twice the size of the done, the finished balls. So then start working in one place. The other thing to note when you do a garland, always do an odd number, because it looks like, if it's even, it looks like the garland splits in half. So this is a close up. I'm using a 40 gauge triangle, which is giving me a nice, nice finish. And I'm just working my way all the way around the ball slowly now. And you'll see that one side is completely fluffy that I haven't done. And then that side is nice and felted and it's going to hold together really well. So that's the finish you're trying to get to. And once you've done the whole ball, we do the magic roll. It helps with nearly all needle felting. Just give it a roll between your hands and it just makes it a little bit smoother. So this is the tassel. I'm going to do two tassels on the end. I don't know if you saw them at the beginning. I just think it's a nice detail. So take a bit of wool and some string. Put the string, tie the string through the middle. So this is going to be the holder at the top. And then fold it over. And then take another bit of string and wrap it round about a centimetre below. A lot of fairies are made like this. If you're sort of, if you've seen some of the needle felted fairies, it's a very simple theory. It's so easy and so lovely and so pretty. And then just tie it at the back. I do three knots just to make it triply secure. And then trim it to the length that you want it. And that's literally it. So I'm taking a nice big uh, sewing needle and a nice thin thread. If your thread is too thick, it's really tricky to pull it through the balls. And so just um, thread on the balls. They hold on the uh, thread really well, so you don't need to tie knots in them. So that's quite good, and it makes it easily adjustable once they're up. So just put them all on, and then check your length when it's done to where you're gonna have it. And then with the ends, I just tie loops in the ends. So there we go, they're all on. Loops in the ends, and then I put the tassels on the end bits. And there it is. Really simple. Any colour you want, any walls you've got you don't know what to do with, why don't you do that? So subscribe and like if you enjoyed it. And have a look at my other videos, I've got lots out there. And happy felting. Thanks for watching.